President of the United States, acting upon the recommendation of the Secretary of the Army, has reposed special trust and confidence in the patriotism, valor, fidelity, and abilities of Brant Angie, Seth Fon, Richelbert Goss, Tony Gosser, Spencer Morris, Eric Murray, and Zachary Schutte. In view of these qualities and their demonstrated potential for increased responsibility, they are hereby promoted in the United States Army to the grade of Captain, effective 1 May 2019, with a date of rank of 1 May 2019. Signed, Stephen M. Bussell, Chief, Officer Promotions. Perspective about the oath that I like to share, uh, not only with uniform members but with also our, our civilians, our families. You know, understand the importance of what the oath is and why we reaffirm our oath. We choose to reaffirm our oath every time we get promoted to the next rank. One thing that I haven't mentioned in the past is you'll notice when congressmen and women or you know, any bureaucrat, right, federal. Uh, employee who's in a leadership position, when they swear an oath, it is, it is the same oath that they, that they swear in the office, right, to swear our allegiance to the Constitution of the United States. Um, and, and the thing that I like to remind, particularly the folks here up here who just got promoted, the youngest captains in the United States Army today, is that that oath is not just mere words that you say, you stated. It is a contract that you have sworn to uphold for the benefit of our country. That is a very, very special uh, thing to reaffirm your oath. And I'd like to take it back to biblical times again. For those who've heard me say this, uh, I apologize. But uh, back in biblical times, right, there were no lawyers. There were uh, no contracts to be signed, right? But there was... Any contract with God was called a covenant, right? And those covenants were always sealed by what? By a sacrifice. And that sacrifice represented the physical manifestation of what happens when you violate that covenant, right? And I see it no different uh, than the oath that we all swore okay, to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. And it is a reminder of that actual physical manifestation of that sacrifice, right? Not only happens, it quite literally happens in our line of profession. When you violate that oath, that is what the consequence is, is the, the death of not only our, our brothers and sisters in arms, but the death to our way of life and death to the ideals and values that we uphold in this country. Right? Uh, and we are that front line wearing this, this uniform, wearing the United States Army. So take that with you, and you should take that with an immense amount of pride in all of your accomplishments that brought you up to this point. 
uh, and never forgetting the accomplishments of those soldiers that you led, that you had the opportunity and the fortune of leading in the past, uh, who got you here. So uh, I will very quickly run down some stats uh, for, for all of these young officers. So let's start with uh, now Captain Seth Bond, right? Uh, hails from Ashburn, Virginia, commissioned out of the United States Military Academy, uh, and will be heading to the 94th WMDC. Uh, we're all very, very sad for you. <laughs> uh, hobbies are traveling, outdoors, disaster response project, volunteering. Uh, very interesting. Okay, again, another testament to the diversity of the, the soldiers in our ranks. Secondly, uh, Tony Gosser, Captain Tony Gosser. Uh, his wife, Joanna, is here, as well as uh, father-in-law, mother-in-law, and I believe your mother's also here. Is that right, Tony? Okay, terrific. His next assignment is to 35th ADA in Korea. All right. And then next is uh, Isaac, Eric Isaac Murray. Okay, great. Uh, hails from New York, uh, commissioning source, United States Military Academy. Is your spouse here, Haley? Uh, she's not. Here. Okay. Um, and he is heading to 32nd WMDC at Fort Bliss. He enjoys rock climbing, hiking, and cycling. All right. Next is Spencer Ryan Morris. All right. Captain Spencer Hills from Gurney, Illinois. Uh, ROTC graduate of Florida State University. Uh, is a fiance, Gina? Is she here? She is here. Welcome, Gina, to the Army family. Hold on. There's <laughs> your ride. Okay. Uh, hobbies are scuba diving, snorkeling, snowboarding, and hiking. Okay. And uh, you've been in National Guard for the last three years. Next assignment, one away for day. Okay. Great. Can you jump off on? Thank you, sir. Probably will be. All right. Richie Goss. Richie Goss. Did I say that right? Yes, sir. Okay. Great. Commissioning source, United States Military Academy. Uh, I remember you from day one. Your fiance, <coughs> where is she here? I know, sir. No? Heading to Cutter. Oh, no, no, that was your uh, deployment. Next assignment, 1 1. Okay, Okinawa, great. And hobbies, tennis, basketball, hiking, and beatboxing. <laughs> Should we embarrass him? And yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's good. He's good. He's good. He won. He's good. He won. Yeah. All right. I'll let you. I'll let you decide. Okay. All right. All right. Captain Shooty, Zach Shooty, All right. Uh, hails from East Tennessee State. Uh, prior infantryman, branch detail. Cool. And uh, next assignment, two one cab division. Had himself. Hobbies are shooting and hiking. Why did you ever leave the infantry then? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then finally, Captain Brant Ainge? Yeah, Angie. Angie, okay. ROTC, green to gold. He's a he's an old one. Okay. <laughs> okay, for eight years, is your wife here? Okay. okay, all right. And children are obviously in school right now, yeah. I'm assuming. Okay. Uh, multiple deployments. Hobbies, okay, you're a nerd. <laughs> Mathematics, okay. Uh, writing your own fantasy genre book series. Do you know Colonel Fisher? Okay, he's the commander of 5 5. He just published a fantasy novel <laughs> while commanding a battalion in Afghanistan. Oh, that three times. <laughs> Look him up, though. He's a really unique individual, a really good guy. Too. And getting a. Masters in Applied Mathematics from Columbia. Okay. That's <laughs> pretty impressive. Okay. And you were headed to where? Head to Korea. Korea. Okay. Perfect. All right. So that about sums it up. I'm going to stop talking and I'll give the floor to the, uh, to the newly promoted captains of the United States Army. Uh, I'll make it quick because we got bunch to go through, but uh, as Colonel Lee pointed out, I'm prior service, so at one point, a little over nine years ago, I was PFC Angie, and I don't think that I ever thought that I would ever have captain bars on my chest. Um, it was only when my wife and I started dating, and she uh, looked me in the eye and said, hey, if we're going to get married, 
you got to get a degree and you got to be an officer. <laughs> 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 so, she's the reason why I have this, and um, thank you. I love you. Major Smith, uh, CCC instructors, families and friends, uh, thank you for being here on behalf of uh, us who just got promoted. I uh, just want to quickly say that uh, uh, in this uh, ceremony, uh, one thing came to mind and it's something that was exhausted during the virus conference, even uh, on our first day of class, which was uh, the emphasis on people uh, in this career and in this branch. Uh, and I think uh, I cherish the moment uh, that I got to uh, be promoted to captain because I got to these people. You guys as well. So thank you for all, all of you guys for sharing this moment with us. Thank you. I'd like to do a special shout out to my fiance Gina. Best thing that ever happened to me. My uh, my peers, my instructors, you know, leadership, P six, and all the key leaders. You know, just thank you for attending. It's a big, big day for all of us. Just want to say thank you, sir, for um, uh, giving me the opportunity and mentoring me. I was an XO Bravo battery, and uh, to Model Bravo Commander Cap Salida, uh, for Sergeant Tucker. Uh, thank you for the mentorship you gave me, and I couldn't do it without uh, Cap Mitchell back there. <laughs> you could have done a lot more without me. <laughs> <laughs> but to the CCC instructors, thank you very much, and to my amazing family, my my pillar of support. Thank you. None of this would be possible without you, um, even the even the food in the back. So, thank you very much. <laughs> say thank you everyone for coming here to share this moment with us. Uh, sir, our instructors, uh, everyone here, and my peers, thanks for supporting me through the course, and uh, hopefully we'll stay in touch and support each other through the rest of our career. I echo that, sir, cadre, classmates, all of y'all congrats. <laughs> um, I think for all of us, we agree that this is more testament to the leaders and soldiers that we've worked with over the past four years and we've got us, so I thank you as well. Everybody's already said everything else. Um, so thank you.